I'm as smart as I think I am. It's noisy out there. Sharing a page I manage. That one next. Open Facebook Live. Video title. I don't have to get a bloody title. <laughs> That's our connection, maybe if you go. Should we move to that area? Well, now you now now your buddy tell me that. Yeah, good. <laughs> I threw three capability video tags board games tabletop starter. Uh, three, and Q. Okay. Okay, live. You're streaming to Facebook Live. Good. Test, test. All right, now I'm going to go on my phone and see if it's actually working. Well, uh, I think Brett might be checking it out now, uh, although it doesn't show anyone yet. It says we've got two viewers. Brett, if you're there, write a message or uh, other viewer. I was counting me as one of them. That's fabulous. Well, that's, um, good. that's a way to get our numbers up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it will will drag down the... Um, Drag on the bandwidth though if I'm watching it and streaming it at the same time. Uh, do 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 do. Three viewers, we're, we're doubling, double, double our numbers already. Uh, so I'm just gonna go on my phone and watch it on my phone just to super confirm that it's working before I do anything. Thank you for being patient. Actually, can we do it from your phone? If you go to the yeah. if you just go to the yeah. Kickstarter page on your phone and just tap it and see if it's happening. Click on the, the Twitter link. Ooh, maybe it'll create a cool feedback loop. I thought that one does that. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Look at that neat art. Oh, it's us. And I'm Testing. Playing guitar. Wow, it looks Two, good. three, seven. I think we're live. Yep, sweet. All right, we're cooking. All right, so there wasn't as much notice before this live stream. Hopefully some people uh, come in as we're playing. I tried to pick a relatively neutral time for different people around the world, and we'll see how it goes, and we'll save the video for later too if you want to watch it another time. Uh, so I'm Daniel Bishop. I'm the developer of Never Wars. I'm here with, uh, do you prefer Doc Pop or Dr. Popular? Dr. Popular is the, for this is awkward. It's the formal. You're all cool, and I'm all like, <laughs> Dr. Popular. Is my formal name. Doc's popular but, uh, is his formal name. You can call me Doc for the purposes of this uh, this demonstration. Absolutely. So today we're going to play through Never Wars. I'll have some different deck setups from the last couple of times we played. You might want to um, shuffle yours, maybe. I can't remember how. So so we shuffle, but I don't, I don't like stack them anyway, right? Like uh, I don't like try to pick the order in advance. It's random to start. It's completely random to start, absolutely, yes. Uh, so today, slightly different setup. So I've got, we've both actually got a mixture of skeletons, spirits, and ghosts. Whereas before the um, previous games, the decks were a bit more themed, but today I thought for difference, um, we'll have both have like a big mashup. So just to, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think my finger's long enough. Um, okay. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview of the rules before we start. Um, also, because this is Doc's second time playing, and but the first time he played was quite a while ago. So I'm going to go through. Yeah, that'll happen. They're slippery with the covers on. That's fine. <laughs> Blame it on the covers when it's 
my lack of skill. All right. All right. So uh, this is a deck construction game where prior to the game, you construct a deck of cards. Your deck is 36 cards large, and they're all creature cards. So there aren't spell cards, resources, traps, interrupts, all that jazz. It's all creature cards, and all the creatures have the abilities on them. And if you play a creature face down, those are your resources. So you only need one type of card for the game to function. So we're, there'll be a little bit of ambient noise from the street. Let us know if that's a problem. Uh, so, um, but I've taken the liberty of constructing the two decks we're using today. Uh, the decks we're using today are maybe like, maybe like one generation old, so some of the abilities aren't super balanced as they are right now. Um, but we'll play through, I think there's only one ability where I will actually change the rule as I'm playing it because it's super overpowered. You might see that um, when you start playing. So the rules are, you have a deck of 36 cards. On your turn, you can do four things, and you can do them in any order you want. First thing is, you draw a card from your deck to your hand, one card. The second thing you can do is you can take one card and play it face down as an energy card. That's persistent, that stays there forever, you can't get it back into your hand, it doesn't disappear. That's there for the duration of the game. You can, let's pretend I've got four of these down now for this next part. Third thing you can do is you can rotate these energy cards to pay to get a minion out of your hand and onto the board. And you can also... So just to be clear, yeah, there's four jewels here. These are four jewels. So when you rotate those four, that's how you bought this four jewel card. Yes, absolutely. So the top left of the card shows how expensive... It's a bit shiny because the um, cover, but in the top left of the card is the cost to play it from your hand to the board. You can also rotate energy cards to activate an ability on the minion card. Each minion card has four abilities. Try and get some of the shine off of there. Pardon me. You have four abilities. You can only play one ability from each minion each turn. And you can only have a maximum of three creatures out at any one time. That's what these three damage trackers are out ready to, ready to go because you only have a maximum of three. So if I have three creatures out, I can play one ability from each creature. That's the maximum I can do, as long as I can afford it, because each ability costs energy. Um, the only other rule is at the end of your turn, at the very end of your turn, if you have no creatures in play, at the end of your turn, something called corruption occurs. Corruption happens right at the end of your turn if you have no creatures in play, and what happens is you immediately draw a card to your hand and then choose a card to destroy anyone you want, and that goes towards your opponent's victory points. The way you win the game is you destroy nine of your opponent's creatures, so that would count towards your opponent's victory points. Um, some creatures can stack on top of other creatures. So if I have a stack of, let's get these right. If I have a stack of three creatures here and this stack gets destroyed, each one of these three counts individually towards my opponent's victory points. So if Dr. Popular were to destroy this stack, he'd already be like a third of the way to winning. So ascending or stacking your creatures makes them way more powerful, but they're more rewarding to your opponent once they get destroyed. Um, I'll just run through real quick the icons on the card. Let's see if I can get that without shining it. Well, that's not bad. So, uh, each all the cards are creature cards. In the top left is the cost to play the creature from your hand to the board. Center is the name of the creature. On the right is the number of damage points you need to inflict on that creature before it's destroyed. Uh next to this chain symbol is the name of the creature this has to be played on top of. So you can't stack any creature on top of any creature. If there's a name next to this chain symbol, it can only be played on top of that named creature. If there is no name next to that chain symbol, let's get a basic one. If there is no name next to that chain symbol, then it can be played on an empty spot on your board. Uh, and then each creature has 
each creature has four abilities. Again, you can only do one per creature per turn as long as you can pay how much it costs. You can go to the Kickstarter page, and if you scroll down, you can see every single card that you'll get in the core set when you play this game. Uh, do you have any questions before we start? No, I, I remember uh, stacking the cards being like one of my favorite parts. Sweet, awesome. Um, all right, I'm not sure if there's anybody in the chat screen, but uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to, to write them. I think we're, we're monitoring it, uh, uh, at least on the Kickstarter page, maybe not on the Facebook uh, page. And if we need to move the camera or anything, let us know. Sweet, absolutely, thank you. Uh, you could also tweet to at Tiger Crab Studios. Uh, no S on the end, it's too many characters. So on Twitter, it's just at Tiger Crab Studio, or one word. Studio, it's just one studio anyway. Really. <laughs> it is one studio. Well, I, I like to think of, I call it studios because I work with a lot of um, uh, freelance artists and people like that. And uh, although they aren't employed by me, I consider them part of like the team that helps make something come to life. Word up. But essentially, yes, it's just one studio of me. Sweet, all right, uh, so let's roll these dice, see who goes first real yeah. quick. So, so uh, whoever gets a sword, I guess. Sword first. goes first. Sweet, so I get a sword. Yeah, all right. Uh, try to mitigate first turn advantage by drawing one less card than you. So just get one last shuffle, because I get insecure about that for some reason. I keep wondering if we should bring that camera closer. I just want them to be able to see. All right. We'll just talk it through, I guess. Yeah, we'll talk it through. Sweet. All right. So, uh, so here's a cheat sheet for you, which you can keep handy just for reference. Uh, so I draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you draw seven cards. Cool. And so that's cool. So the, the setup, uh, I know you just said this, but the setup is six for the first person because they have that first turn advantage. Yep. And so far, that's been enough to kind of mitigate first turn advantage with the play testing I've done so far. I've not had to I haven't seen that before, but I like that. that. I think it's pretty common to like uh, collectible card games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, that kind of thing. I think that's the usual device they use. Um, sweet. So on my turn, I get to draw a card first. Then I get to choose one card to place down, face down as energy. If I choose to, you don't have to do it every turn. About mid-game kind of point, you might want to start holding back on how many you play as energy cards just to give yourself more options. Uh, well, that's interesting. Got a lot of first drop creatures. Oh, that makes it tricky. I, I need to know. Build. All right, I'm gonna play this guy face down as an energy card. And then there's nothing in the game that costs, there's no creatures in the game that cost just one energy. So first turn, no one can ever play a creature. But that means corruption automatically happens at the end of my turn. So it's the end of my turn. So corruption happens, which is where I draw a card and immediately place one face down as... Um, sorry, I immediately destroy one, which goes towards your victory point. So right now, Dr. Popular is winning with one point. <laughs> um, and that is the end of my turn. All right, so uh, I see... Uh, and you say you can do this in any order, but I'm just going to follow the order suggested. Sure. Draw one card. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and goes. Uh, I'm. I guess I'll just play this card. Sure. Uh, so that's two of my things. Uh, rotate energy card, which is not happening because uh, we're not activating anything yet. And rotate energy cards to activate minion bins. Okay, and then. Uh, I, I also have lost a card. Okay. I guess we will do... So you, you draw a card first. Uh, so I did draw one card. So okay, corruption, corruption is two things. Corruption means you draw a card and then choose one to destroy. So if you find yourself in a position with like not many options, kind of mid-late game, yeah. it, it, it allows you to draw to kind of help Help you get back in the fight, as it were. Cool. So, so you dropped a chain. Nice. So, um, yeah, people I, have been asking, do these go actually face down as like hidden when they're destroyed? Um, and so far, the rules are that no, they don't. They stay face up when they're destroyed, so it's not hidden information. Um, I haven't found a compelling reason to have them be hidden at this point, but it might happen. Sweet. And so then that would be my turn. 
So I will draw a card. Oh, there we go. This is nice. I like this. All right. Um, and then I will choose one to play. Mm, it's actually tough. I don't know which one I want to put. Let's go with you. Put one face down. And then I will rotate these two. The normal word is tap. You would like like tapping resources, but I think was the coast of copyrighted that term for that mechanic to rotate a card to show that it's being used or expended. So I can't. You could use the word tap if you want, but I don't think I can. Um, so I, that's why it's called rotate. It was a bit clumsy, but you know what, what can you do? Um, to play a shadow. Doesn't matter what spot you play the creature in. It's not. It's not tactical in that sense. So you you drew a card. You played a, a card down, which you get to do once per turn mm -hmm. to add to your jewels. You have two jewels. You uh, caressed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You caressed the, the jewels. Whole, there's a whole litany of. Um, you caress the jewels verbs you could use. Uh, and there's two jewels, and this costs two. So. I'm kind of explaining this to them, but also to myself. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, all right, so now it's my turn. Uh, yeah, I have no more energy to expend to do anything. This guy actually has an ability that lets you uh, play more than one energy per turn if you choose to. So this guy actually is good for like, speeding up your energy reserves if that's how you want to use him. I'm just going to play these upside down so you can read them easier if you're curious sure. at any point. And uh, then it's your turn, absolutely. All right, I am going to draw this card, the best card. Uh, I am going to play this card down. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two jewels. I will caress the two jewels. <laughs> you know, every, when you laugh, it it's so sensual. I like it. <laughs> I really like this game. <laughs> so uh, caressing the t uh, the two jewels. I don't know. I mean, tapping, right? Like that's so. Uh, bam. Okay. Sweet. Pirate. Uh, I played pirate, which costs two jewels, mm -hmm. and that is the end of my turn. Cool. So, so right now it's shadows versus pirates, Absolutely. and as we all know, pirates always win. Pirates always win. In that, in, that, in that particular problem. Pirates, pirates are great fun. They've got a lot of like real cheap abilities. They're very punchy. They're quite a lot about just direct damage, which is a lot of fun. So the cards I've gotten rid of, mm -hmm. and, and you too, cost four jewels. And I think our strategy was these will take too long to get to, so let's try to quickly get some pieces on the board. Exactly, yeah. The early game the, and the ones you place face down as energy are probably going to be high-level creatures early on. Later, I might regret that I put that down. I might want that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's definitely one of the... Um, outcomes that can happen. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So I'm rot I'm rotate my energy cards. I put one face down as mm, I kind of like all these. This is the problem. Um, I could pick one, for which you. is a good problem to have, I guess. You know, I'll be fussy about it. Um, you, yeah. Let's do. Mm. Mm. It's tough. Mm. Um, cool. All right. And I'm going to rotate two to get out a squire, which is like a low level skeleton knight. And then I'm going to pay one. Mm, don't want to do that yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to play one to do discipline. Discipline is an ability that says I draw a card and opponent gets to draw a card too. Yeah, cool. So it's super cheap, but. The, oh, yes. the, blow, the blowback is the, you know, it helps your opponent out a little bit too. Oh, this is great. And then that's the end of my turn. I am excited about this one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to draw. Sure. And boy, I have way too many cards. <laughs> uh, uh, I am going to play... Mm -hmm. So just for context, uh, Dr. Popular has a deck that has three classes of creature he's got pirates that ascend into raiders which ascend into captains he's got a bound ghost that ascends into a sh chained and then into sorry a ch bound that goes into a shackled that goes into a chained and he's got a fungus which ascends into a dryad which turns into a treant so I I, uh, I played a card down mm -hmm. um, uh, like you're saying uh, there's Pirates in my deck. So you, you don't have pirates in your deck? No, no, we've got completely separate cards. Cool. So like I am pirate heavy. I was kind of wondering about that. Now I know. <laughs> uh, I am going to start upgrading my pirates to raiders. So I have three jewels. A raider costs three. Yep. So I'm going to caress three jewels. Uh, that's going to catch on, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to caress gonna be, three jewels. I'm going to have to rewrite the whole rule book now. Too. And now I have a raider instead of a pirate. Sweet. Uh, and that's all I can do because I have no jewels on. Sure. Yeah, they're pretty fierce and they do a lot of damage. 
I'm a little bit nervous. Um, and this is good. So far in playtesting, I haven't found a superior strategy. Like some people like to get out like a bunch of low level creatures first. Some people like to get out one creature and like um, ascend it real high, real quick. And I haven't found that one of those is actually superior, which is kind of a good thing, I think. Because if one of those was clearly advantageous, then that would take a little bit away from the uh, dynamics of the game, I feel like. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to unrotate my energy cards. I'm going to play one face down as a... Um, again, it's tough. You. So four energy now. I'm going to pay three to do stab from the squire. Stab is it inflicts seven damage plus four if that target has received no damage yet. So it's like Ooh. a big opener, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, so that would be 11 total damage to your raider. And then you can If shoot. you succeed or, or I mean, we don't, we don't roll or anything. There are, there are only a few abilities where there's yeah. a roll involved. Okay. So, so you're just attacking. There's no modifier. There's no, no defense or it, anything. Straight up. So it's just straight yeah. up 11. And it's so brutal because um, your special ability specifically is opening move. So the next mm -hmm. one, hopefully, is a squire. I'm not expecting much from sure, the squire. Sure. And it's, it was kind of expensive, so there's a trade-off there. And so I have 35 hit points. I'm 11 down already. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I, the only other thing I can afford to do is fade from the shadow, which is it costs one. It does five damage to the raider, but two damage to the shadow itself. Cool. So it's kind of a cheap ability, but the payoff is that there's kind of blowback damage. So now, now my raider is already 16 damage. Sure. Uh, he's not much of a tank. He was, when he was a pirate, he was 20. Now he's 35. And then it's your turn. Uh, hey, Silas. Let us, uh, let us know if you can see and hear us okay, if there are any issues. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play... Uh, I'm going to play a card. So now I have four jewels. I mean, I, I have a feeling we're just going to constantly be playing a jewel card. There's no reason not to. Sure. Well, about uh, mid-game, when you have fewer cards in hand, you might want to be like, actually, I need more options because yeah. now it's kind of the mid-game and I don't want to drop one every turn, maybe every other turn. So, um, so yeah, be worried about kind of depleting your hand completely. So I know I'm kind of uh, sticking to the strategy, but uh, I am going to caress four cards, mm -hmm. four jewels to pay for the captain who cost four jewels. Oh, here we go. So now I have fully maxed out yeah, this yeah. character who's already got 16 damage. Maybe this isn't a bright strategy. I haven't done anything to you yet, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's it. So that's the end of my turn. Sure, absolutely. I uncaress. Cool. I will unrotate my cards. I will draw a card. I'm getting better at remembering to do that because sometimes I like when I, when I first started playing playtesting the game, I would sometimes forget to draw a card, um, which of course you know inhibits the playtesting a little bit. So now I've got an option: do I upgrade one of my guys, or do I get another creature down? Because one thing you do have to worry about is um, if I have three creatures and you only have one, I can essentially do three things a turn, whereas you can only do one thing a turn, and sometimes that can because um, you can only play one ability per creature per turn. So that might, when it gets to like kind of mid-game level, the person who has the most creatures out sometimes gets um, a bit of a tactical advantage that way. It gets expensive because you have to pay for everything. But um, just something to keep in mind. I will, yeah, on that note, I will do that. I'm taking a big risk here because I'm putting a lot of my low-level creatures down as energy which might bite me later. But here we go. So I'm going to pay two to get out a phantom. So I have all my, like, creature classes represented here, I guess you'd call it. And then I will also... Can I do something? Oh, no. I don't think you would. I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, cards in my hand is... Two, so one, two, three, four. That would be eight damage. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'll do just some kind of basic attacking. I will pay one to do cut, which would be three damage to the captain. So he's up to 19 now. And I'll pay one to do fade again from the shadow, which is five to you and two to itself. 24. Cool. 24 damage out of 50. And then as your turn. Drawing my card, uh, I am going to play that card down as a jewel. So I have five jewel, just like you. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to uh, add a second character just to kind of get another character nice. on the screen. Bounds are good. They're good for like harassing. They've got uh, their second ability kind of shuts down one of my energy cards each turn. So that's quite good for like and harassment. That's additive or just per turn? Per turn. Okay. So every every effect only lasts one turn. So for example, I've got an ability that would um, shut down some of your abilities, but that would only last one turn. So every 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 effect, I guess, only lasts until the beginning of your next turn. Okay. So so I spent two jewel for the bound. To I get have three out, jewel yeah. left. Uh, I could just slash you, mm -hmm. or I could do some of my other special stuff. You have this... Um, you, you could also use the bound in some way if you wanted to. You can play a creature and activate an ability from it in the same turn, if you choose, if you can afford it. Uh, yeah, so, so I played it. I mean, I, I could do... Look at the top three cards in your deck. That's not super good to me. I'd rather do mm -hmm. some damage to yeah, you, because I haven't yeah, yeah. taken any damage yet. Mm -hmm. uh, Two plus one damage to a different target. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, so I spread damage, I guess. Yeah, and that's that's later. Uh, ignore one. So what is this? Uh, ignore one yin yang symbol this turn and draw a card. So some creatures have a... So the yin yang symbol denotes a 50-50 chance. So some cheap abilities have a 50-50 chance of an added effect. Mm -hmm. So, like, this guy has, this phantom has eight damage plus a 50-50 chance that I don't get to use one of my energy cards next turn. That's, like, the payoff for it being kind of a cheap ability, that there's kind of a 50-50 chance that something negative happens to me when I use it. So, bolster from the captain, if you pay three energy, then you get to ignore a 50-50 chance um, on, an, it, on another it? creature of yours. Okay. Plus, also, maybe a chance of drawing a card. And you could use that effect on itself. So it would just be like three, pay three to draw a card, essentially. And so, so this one, uh, Rush, it's six damage plus 50 50. 50 chance of six damage. So that means if I fail the roll, it's six on me. No, no, it's just you don't get the added effect. Oh, okay. So just, you do okay. six damage, 50 50 chance of doing another six damage. So if there's a yin yang with a sword, that's when it hurts me if I fail. No, no. Okay. No, this is just this is just the specific wording on this guy is five damage plus two to it. So. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Well, then I will. My options are to spend three on an automatic nine, or to spend three on a six with a chance of another six, which I will do that. Okay. Rush. Yeah. Sure. Sure. So uh, I am targeting. Who would you like to? Yeah, you got to declare a target first. Um, targeting. Uh, this uh, crap face shadow. <laughs> uh, no need uh, to make it personal, but sure. It's personal. Okay. All right. So uh, so that's six automatic. And then if it is a sword, I pass. If it's a sword, yes. If it's a sword, then the effect is triggered. Okay. So just six. So that's 10. He's already half dead because he's only got, he's at 10 now and he's only got a maximum of 20. So it's not bad. So I've pressed all my cards. I think that's. Right. So, so I will unrotate all of my energy cards. I will draw a card. Oh, no. This makes it really hard. I like this guy. I might not. I might. I kind of like all the cards I have, and so I might just not play an energy card. So this is where we're saying, why wouldn't you play an energy card? It's because you don't want to drop anything that you have currently in your hand. You might have a strategy in mind with the cards you have. You might just want to make sure you don't run out of options late game, because sometimes you can get stuck if you've committed too far in one direction. Um, I've also got the choice. Do I... Do I focus down the captain, who's half dead now, um, or do I go for the bound, which is like a first tier kind of not very, not very resilient creature? That's tough. That's really tough. Um, might do twelve. Could do. Six. So 
but right now you can't. Right now you could kill the shadow monster. Yeah, let's just do this. All right. Um, I will. Actually, I kind of have to because you could kill the shadow next turn. Could kill the shadow. Maybe I should just let him go. Yeah, I'm just going to let the shadow go. So I'm going to pay one to do fade again to. Let's do it to the bound. So I'm going to do fades to the bound, which is five damage plus two to itself, because I think he's going to be dead next turn anyway. So I'm just so I'm not worrying about the blowback right now. Um, and then I will pay. Mm, that's silly. I probably should have done snap first. So that does more damage. But it's taking damage. And then I will also. I'm going to pay one to do cut. To the bound, so that's another three damage. And then I'll pay three to turn the squire into a knight. Wow, you're there's a lot of moves that turn. Yeah. So you can so you can activate an ability from a creature and then ascend it. You can ascend it and then activate an ability. The only thing you can't do is activate an ability, ascend it, and then activate another ability because it counts as the same creature having having acted that turn. And that, I believe, is my turn. Okay. Uh, drawing a card. Mm -hmm. I have four cards in hand right now. Not laying an energy last turn might hurt me long game, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make that mistake. I'm gonna <laughs> play a card. So now I have six jewels. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, use three of my jewels, I'm going to caress my jewels uh, to turn my bound into oh, a shackled. No, all right. So that is uh, it's gonna get messy. 35 hit points now. Mm -hmm. uh, and five. it's gonna get tricky now. Cool, I, I think shock sounds pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so shock does five damage, plus it prevents you from, oh wait. Mm. So my options are maybe to play shock for mm -hmm. three for the three jewels I have, yep. which are five damage plus you lose one of your jewels the next turn. Or I'm kind of liking uh, slash, well, which will automatically which will kill this guy. My shadow, yeah. uh, Both I, fine theories. I think I'm going to go for shock. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do five damage to a different piece. We're going to five damage to the phantom. Okay. Uh, and and then you, I just don't get to use one of these next turn. And that is. All of my jewels. Okay, sounds good. All right, so now I'm kind of two down essentially because you shut down one of my cards and I didn't play one down next turn, which is going to maybe be a problem. Um, uh, tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, yeah, I got to put that one down just to just be so I'd fall, I'll fall too far behind otherwise. Um, I should probably just attack this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, you can't kill him the next turn outright, so that's fine. Uh, okay. I'm going to, yeah, that works. All right, I'm going to do fade again. So that would be five damage to, again, who do I focus on? <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, i got to focus down the captain. All right, so five to the captain, which puts him at 29, and two to the shadow itself. And then two from the Phantom for Sonic, which is eight damage, plus 50-50 chance I can't use one of my energy cards next turn. So let's see if that happens. Yep, that happens. So I, I'm basically not going to get that back next turn. So that's another eight damage to him, though. So he's at 37. And then I have two more to use, which... So I've used the Phantom, I've used the Shadow. And two more. 
two more for slice, which will just be another six damage to the captain. Okay. Uh, another six to the captain. Another six. So he's at 43. 43 out of 50. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to be four behind. Okay. True. But you are doing a good job of shutting down my energy reserves. Um, cool. And then it's your turn. Drawing my card. Playing my card. Uh, Hi, Nicholas. Let us know if you can see and hear everything okay. Yo, my name is Nicholas, and this is ridiculous. Got <laughs> mad, got me money, and this is deliciousness. All right. So yeah, let us know if you heard all that. <laughs> I'm a rapper. Uh, uh, about to kill my captain. I don't like that. Um, so definitely my, my strategy of over-investing in characters is not paying off. So I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, my shit, my bound is now a chained. No, my shackled is now a chain. Sure. So you got two level and three creatures out now, essentially, which is kind of a big deal. Kind of scary for me. Caress four cards, uh, which means I have three jewels left, and I will use those to unseen <sighs> target. Actually, uh. I'm going to use my three to lash. I'm going to do six damage to Shadow. Which will kill him outright. Bye-bye. And three damage to a different target, which I'm going to target that Phantom. Cool. So he's at eight now. Okay. Cool. And that's a... Uh, all my cards all, all done, yeah. No? <laughs> cool. All right. So I don't get this energy card back for this turn because I locked it out from myself last time. Uh, which I hope is a sacrifice that will pay off. Uh, that's easy. I'm going to put that down. Nicholas, have you got any questions? Just let us know. We can, we can see the chat feed. Uh, get I'm a little behind the curve now. Um, let's might have it's the most efficient way to do seven damage. That'd be that plus. So you try to do seven damage to make Captain because yeah. he's at forty three at fifty points. I think the best way to do it would be to. I'm going to pay two. To summon another shadow. I just kill the shadow. You did just kill the shadow. Uh, and I will pay to another two to do null, which is which would be eight damage to the captain and four to itself. So it's got a slightly better version of the blast ability. So now I am four points down. And you're two points down. First one to nine wins. So you're one to nine. you're closer to you're five away from me. a little bit. Yeah. But you've got like one right now you've got a level three creature out with almost no damage done to it, which is pretty scary. Bring it. Uh, I have two energy left with which I will do I kinda wanna draw more cards, but I don't have an ability for that right now. Um could do that. That's not great. Remove, no. I've only got one worthwhile ability that costs two energy, which would be, actually no. Yeah, I'm gonna pay two to do hide, which is if not alone, this minion cannot take damage. Okay. So basically next turn, he can't be a target of damage. Right up. And then next turn, I'm gonna get that back. Gonna now it's your turn. Draw my card. I am going to play Pirate. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's two. Yep. Caress two cards. Put this back at zero. Whatever, it's backwards, but whatever. Uh, and I am going to use uh, Thunder. Okay. Which does eight damage. Plus, opponent may not use one of your jewels next turn. Sweet. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. Ooh, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... Who would you like to target with it? We've got two options. I would like to go for um, Captain... Sh Sh 
shadow face. Okay. So he's now at 12. So again, he's almost dead again, which is kind of a big deal. And, and that's it for me. You've got one more well, oh, jewel yeah. which, with which you've got three oh, yeah. options for. Thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, try. I'm going to try jab. jab. So uh, jab, I either cut and do an automatic three, or I jab and do a two with an option of two more damage if I pass, which mm -hmm. is a sword as a pass. Yeah, you so got I've it. done four. So now he's at 16. So I've only just got him out, but he's all in that already. Um, sweet. All right. And now it's my turn. And if anybody is wondering, this is how I normally play a game by talking out loud my entire day. <laughs> it's not, it's not yeah. just for your benefit. Yeah. So I'm going to play uh, my bishop in the <laughs> hopes that you forget you're in check. Uh, that was a bad example. Well, that's something that actually would be a problem in chess if you're constantly announcing your strategy yeah. all the time. But I hope you uh, don't know this. This could be a problem. I've got four cards in hand. I kind of want to hold on to them for options later on. I definitely would hold on to those cards. You're, I mean, in, you're in a habit of shutting down my energy, so I need to keep on top of that. Let's do... Yeah, let's just go big. All right, so I'm going to pay three to turn my shadow into a shade. And then I'm going to pay... I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm going to pay another three to turn my phantom into a white. What was the first one you did? So I turned the shadow oh, into you did the shade. Two, two. And then the phantom into the white. And then I only have this guy's at sixteen. And then I only have one energy, but I don't have anything right now that costs one energy, so I've just gotta sit on that. Yeah, I like having and then that. it's your turn. One energy left. Uh... so for context, I have three second tier creatures out, and Doctor Popular has one tier one creature and one tier three creature. So uh I just drew a card. I'm mm -hmm. going to put it down. Sure. Uh, I am going to turn my pirate into a raider. Oh, no. Uh, so that's three. Yep. I'm going to caress three duels. That yep. means I have five to mess with. Five to mess with. Uh, so uh, I like doing that thunder. Mm. But if I, I do I thunder. Do, yeah. <laughs> did I change the order of what I just did? No. Too late. No, no. You sure? All right. Yeah, certainly. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change the order here because I forgot that we can do order. Mm -hmm. So I drew a card. I haven't late. I, I did play Julia, but uh, I haven't spent it on that yep. yet. So crap. Let's see here. Four <laughs> plus one. Yeah. And then three. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, you I can think do. That's all, right. You can do all of that in one turn. All so right. So yeah. let's uh, let's do thunder. I'm gonna do eight damage to this White Walker. Okay, uh, this one's closer to being dead, just in case that influences your decision at all. But that's going to do eight to this guy. That's fine. Oh, this is the shadow, and I hate shadows. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't cast the shadow. I didn't recognize the shadow in the shade. Sure. Well, this is. Well, this has received eight damage so far. This guy's received sixty. So this one's closer to being dead. So right. I'm just letting you know in case. No, that I appreciate that. Okay, so I will do thunder on this guy, which so means eight damage. And once again, you're blocked from using one of your. your so things. I can't use that next turn. Uh, so that's that's four out of the way, uh, which means I'm going to use uh, jab again, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to use jab on the shade again. Shade. Nicholas, I see your question. I'm just letting um, just letting Doctor Popular think out his turn before I answer you. So I'm spending one jewel uh, to jab at you. If I pass, it takes four damage. Oh, yeah, you, so it's you've four been doing damage. Great with that. So he's at 28 now, which is kind of a big deal. 28, but still not enough to finish this round. And I have three jewels left, so now I'm going to go into raider mode. Bam. And now you turn into raider. Sweet. And, and this isn't even my final form. That was, <laughs> that was a very productive turn. Um, so Nicholas asks, are you able to declare targets in your attack, or can you only attack the creature in directly in front of you? Um, so yeah, you can declare... You can declare the target of your attack um, where you where you place a minion is not important at all. The only restriction is you can only have three creatures out at any one time. 
but I would say, yes, I'm, I'm declaring an attack from this guy to this guy or whoever I like. Good, Good question. question. Good question. So it's not, it's not tactical in that sense, I guess you'd call it. Sweet. All right. I'm going to unrotate my cards. I'm going to draw this guy. Oh, that's interesting. I can draw some options. And there is a card I kind of want back now. Um, now we're in the kind of mid-late game is now kind of the time where you start regretting going, oh, I wish I hadn't put that one down as a thing. <laughs> yeah, so in the beginning, we put down some of our more powerful mm. cards because we're like, I'll never get to this. And yeah. Uh, so I've got, I haven't put one down yet as energy. I might not do. We'll see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. How many cards do you have in hand right now? Just one. All right. That kind of affects my decision a little bit. All right. I'm going to use, well, that would cost three. That would cost two. And that would cost. Do I want to do that? Ooh, I like that. All right. I'm going to pay three to do um, Stifle from the Shade to the Chained. Stifle is the target may not use any abilities with Sword, so he can't inflict any damage next turn. So, yeah, we'll just put that just there so remember that. Um, I will then also I will then pay two to do Dement, which is see and reorder the top three cards of the opponent's deck. So one, two, three. I'm trying more of a harassment strategy now, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the order those are in, so that's fine. And then I will pay two to do slice. Yeah, slice from the knight to the raider for six damage. It's, uh, I'll put that upside down so it's easier to manage. Eight, eight, six. And that is my turn. It's right. kind of a heavy investment on harassment abilities that turn, but we'll see how it goes. Drawing a card, which you know. Already is the treant, mm -hmm. uh, which is terrifying if you can get it out on the board. But if it's stuck in your hands, that's not too much of a problem for me. So the treant is played on the a dryad, a dryad, and yeah. I never had a dry. Okay, you've not show, you've not shown a fungus or a dryad. Anyway, yet. I don't give a shit about this card. So <laughs> uh, I just want the jewel. Yeah, sure. Uh, I cannot attack with this card, but I can do other Herndy Schnerndy Yeah, you can do one. his second and you can do his third and fourth abilities if you would like to. Uh, Jack, you may reorder them. <laughs> All right. Um, I will. I can't attack, upgrade, and attack again with the same card, right? No. Correct. I'm going to turn my raider no. into a captain. Oh, all right. So that's uh, one, be two, three, four cards. Gently caress. I really hope, like, my whole strategy was on you not having that card in your hand, but okay. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. So I have five power left, which is mm -hmm. enough to which is plenty. use Catalyst to look at the top five cards in my deck and rearrange them. I don't care about that. It's all about playing the cards I don't have right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and it does let you plan out your next five turns very neatly, but if you just want to hit me, then that's fine too. Yeah, I mean, I kind of need to do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can kill uh, the shade in one hit now, and that's uh, two cards. It is two cards. Uh, so if I kill the shade, which would then put us on equal footing. If I kill the shade, um, that really kind of leaves me with a lot of cards. I, I don't know, I feel weird. I want to use something that's like five or four, sure. that's very wasteful. Is there ignore? Mm. Same target. Gosh, I wish there was something 
this guy lets me do damage to multiple targets, which is really what I'd like mm -hmm. to do right now. That's the thing. When you have a bunch of very high power creatures out, you can't really afford, you can't always afford to do what you want to do with them because their abilities are pricey too. So it's a lot about, there's some like cost management stuff happening. Uh, I'm just going to stick, I'm going to, I'm actually going to use Catalyst. So I'm going to use these five remaining cards. Mm -hmm. I'm going to caress them gently. Uh, and I'm going to look at the top five cards. One, two, three, four. Wow. You put them in any order you like. Oh, yeah. While you're doing that, Nicholas asks, how Definitely. many advancement tiers are there? Every, uh, in the core in the core box, all of the minions have three tiers, basic, second tier, and the third tier. If you look on the Kickstarter page itself, all the images of the cards, all of the images, all the images of the cards show the three tiers of each creature. So the top image, I think, is a pirate, which turns into a raider, which turns into a captain. And then it would be a fungus, which turns into a dryad, which turns into a tree. So at this time, all creatures have three tiers, I think. It's a design choice I had after playing the Pokemon tactical card game. After a bit, I was frustrated. I, it felt like, you know, a lot of Pokemon were, like, super overpowered, and some Pokemon were super underpowered, and some... Could evolve and some could not and i didn't like how imbalanced the game was in that in that scope i guess uh this is the worst thing i ever like this is so hard to pick mm -hmm. so i'm all out of cards in my hand mm -hmm. and a goal for me is to try to place a jewel every time so one of my things is like I'm just gonna need to pick a crappy card that I'll never play and put it down. But another is mm -hmm. maybe I should pick a card that I can start investing in. That you can start actually playing, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Otherwise, these guys are pretty badass to just keep using. They are, but when they're gone, you're gonna need other options. Well, they'll never die. Oh, they'll they'll never. They're sure, yeah. <laughs> Crap. <clears throat> I'm going to finally get this energy back, which is nice. Mm. Ah, crap. Okay. Okay, you planned out your next even... five turns all neatly? No. No. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to unrotate. I'm back up to eight, eight energy now, which is kind of nice. I'm going to draw a card. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Now I'm up to nine energy so i've got options now which is sweet oh i was like 100 percent hoping you didn't have that captain because that's really made it weird now you can take that off because that's it that effect has expired so, so nicholas asked a question real quick i think i can answer how many advancement tiers are there and i think there's a maximum of three yeah yeah i was i was talking about that while you were oh, right selecting on. your and there's none that only cards. have two right no not at this stage there might be in the expansion decks that we were hoping to uh, get out with stretch goals. And if we don't get them from stretch goals, then I'll just do them myself in the future. Uh, there may be creatures in the future that only have two and I'll have to work really, really hard to make sure they're balanced with all the other creatures to make that work. But they'll all either have three or two, certainly. Cool. Uh, let's see. I could do something really bananas here, but that'd be silly. I'm kind of amazed you didn't choose to kill my shade. I just crap out your shade. That's, that's really. I'm just hoping you'll use that that uh, null ability and just kill yourself. I will. I I will if you give me the chance. No, honestly, certainly. the 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 thing I was thinking was mm -hmm. if I got rid of your shade, sure I get two points, but I'll get it eventually anyway, mm -hmm. and that will open a new spot for you, which I kind of don't want in a way. I don't know why. Yeah, you. I've I, I've locked your myself mask. into these three creatures now, essentially. Because so I, I feel like there's no rush for you trees i guess um yeah all right well i'm gonna do that at least so two for null and who do i focus this is really hard because they're both they're both pretty fresh now yeah exactly um now actually i'm going to keep locking one down each turn so I'm going to pay three to do stifle to your captain, so your captain can't use any attacking abilities next turn. I was a gunner. <laughs> that just works as my strategy. And then, 
Uh, I'm going to try and speed up the turns a bit because it's 3.30 now. Absolutely. Uh, two for slice to the chains. That's six damage. So I'm at 14 out of 50. Mm -hmm. And then three for force to the chain, which is 11. Plus, maybe I don't get to use an energy next turn. Yeah, that happens. So I don't get to use this energy next turn. So 11 damage? 11. On, Oi. 11 more. So he's at 35 now. 25. 25, sorry. Mm -hmm. So he's halfway dead. I can reasonably get to him in a few more turns. My, my, my ghost is halfway dead. Mm -hmm. And now it's your turn. Damn. Uh, drawing this card, which, oh my gosh, it's a fungus. Okay, I'm going to play this fungus. Yeah, of course you're uh, <laughs> sure. I forget, the next four turns aren't going to be surprising to you for a while. <laughs> it takes, uh, takes a little bit of the tension out. So this guy can't do anything with attack or can't do anything at all? Uh, can't do anything with attack, so he can't, do, he can't use his first two abilities. Okay. Uh, well, let's just work our way through here. Yep. Um, so I'm going to use Thunder because I love blocking your tool. So that's eight damage on this Herndy Schnurdy Gurndy Burndy. Okay, so he's at 16. But, so that's two, two energy I'm down next turn. Okay. Uh, and that's one, two, three, four cards caressed. Mm -hmm. At least you need with three cards. Uh, so you can either do Discord from the captain, which is which forces one of my creatures. It basically says the target has to do has to succeed on a die roll to do any of its abilities, which is kind of nice. Um, and the abilities are more expensive from that creature. Uh, Fungus is pretty sweet. It's kind of a heavy hitter, and also has some defensive abilities. So you can create, for one energy, you can create a wall, which will block the next incoming three damage to anybody. Uh, or you can do Creepers for two, which has a 50-50 chance of forcing one of my creatures to skip its next turn. So it's got some good harassment, or you could just punch for three, punch for eight damage. Uh, if I did Stone, mm -hmm. I would do two damage, uh, but then I, I'd have to... Then there's a 50-50 chance you also get to choose an ability that it cannot use next turn. But that would be on the same target. Yes. So, yeah, so that wouldn't, wouldn't really help me because two damage in your... No, you're not dead after two damage. Oh, well, let's, let's okay. dead you. I'm going to dead you. Uh, I'm going to use three cards to bludgeon your shade. Yep. And, and that's just done. Done. So we're both at four victory points now. Okay. And I'm going to draw a card. This effect expires. Well, that's easy. That's going to go down. Uh, so you've shut. <laughs> so I've I, I shut down one of my energy, and you shut down one of my energy. So I'm a little behind on that. I will. I've got to keep hitting that chain. So that's the only way I'm going to win. Um, Eleven and nine. Ooh, actually, that could be tasty. Let's do this. I'm going to I'm going to pay three to do stab to the fungus for eleven, but you don't have to move it because I'm also going to pay three to do force from the white to it too, which will kill it. I like that fungus. So about kind of mid late game, you really need to get out a creature and ascend it in the same turn to keep it from going bye bye. Um, and then I have two energy left with which I can do nothing, and so that's the end of my turn. I am drawing a card. And I'll get these two energy back, too. Uh, I am playing the card. I didn't actually roll for force, so I need to roll. And yeah, I don't get an energy. I don't get one of my energy next turn, because force is expensive. And okay, so, I, so I drew, um, placing it down, mm -hmm. I think. Actually, I'll hang, I'll hang on to it for a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and I have no, nothing restricting me from doing anything I want right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
So this guy's at 17. I'm going to do thunder because I'm always going to do thunder. Yeah, of course you are. Uh, one, two, three, four cards. So this rest. guy, I assume? Yeah, it's a white. So he's at, so that's eight. So he's at 25 now. 25 out of 35. Yeah. Uh, and also you lose a jewel for next turn. That's, that's exhausting. It really is. Um, yeah. And there's a chance if you use rush, you have a 50-50 chance of killing him. Right now. Uh, so that is 12. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. 12 is enough. That's what I was thinking. So I am going to try to use Rush, which is three. Three more. Oh, these are just going to Grand Dukes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so six plus maybe another six. If I get a sword, it is 12 damage. I got a sword. Oh, brutal. That's really changed things yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, man. That's that's heavy. How many points you're at? Uh, how many? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you, so you're three need, away from winning, yeah. and I am four away from winning. So I'm kind of hoping you're going to upgrade this guy to a three. Why? Uh, so then I can destroy so it. So that when it's dead, it's yeah. you win essentially. So that'd be good for me. All right. Uh, um, nope, 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 nope. Got two left, and I think this is a bad strategy. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're done. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. If you if you have another creature, basically you can do three things a turn, whereas I can only do one thing a turn at this point. Yeah, and That's if a you real big strategy, beat that creature advantage. again, you're just getting one. So I am gonna, I think, do that. Okay. So I'm gonna play uh, bound. Uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, bound. Okay. And that's these two. Pieces. Close to All right. so. This is not good for me now. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to get rough. I okay. was going to get rough. Yeah. Rougher. So I'm at nine energy. So I'm 100% going to... It's weird that you're at nine. Like I, I thought that I've been playing more energy than you. You're at nine, and you have two blocks, so you actually have a potential of eleven energy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I think there's only I think there's only two turns where I chose not to place an energy down. I think every turn except the last. But... So I'm going to do the thing that you wish, which is upgrade this guy to a crusader. Yes, coming after you, crusader. But what can I do? Yeah, come on, do it. I need to draw a card and show it to my opponent. I could draw a card, which would give me extra options, but then you can just pound on him. Mm. Yep. So he's at, this guy was at six. six. I've got a, I've got to try. All right. Uh, I'm going to do four for cleave, which is 12 damage to the chain. That's four. four. So, that's, uh, so he's at 37. 37. And then that's the end of my turn. That's all I got. Word up. I'm drawing my card. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a stupid card. I don't like it. I'm putting it down. <laughs> so I'm at 10 powers now. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got uh, all the options in the world. I wonder if I'm going to use Thunder. I am. So Thunder, <laughs> sure. Thunder is just going to keep you from using that. Sure. I'm going to get one back, but this I'm, one stays hampered. I think I'm going to target your Crusader. <laughs> uh, so that is eight damage. Eight damage, yeah. Good opening uh, salvo. I will also rush mm -hmm. six crusader. I'm not so, being strategic at all. I'm just kind of like yeah, just hammering. Yeah. For it. Uh, um, so you got to press the advantage. That's he's up to fourteen plus maybe another six. You've been you've been killing those rolls today. Well done. So uh, at twenty out of fifty. Then I have three cards left. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> you can do, yeah, you can do it twice a turn now, which is oh, really is gross. Uh, so I'm going to use Spark, yeah, cool, sure. uh, which only does two damage to your Crusader. Mm -hmm. um, but shuts but down it, another energy card. I like this game. I've, I've had games where people have had three bounds out, and so every turn they're shutting down three energy, yeah. which in mid-game is a nightmare. Um, Just a unbound catastrophe. It's, it's a I'm on the... If I do it again, I'm on the rebound. Bam, high five. Sure. Rebound. <laughs> rebound. Oops, I accidentally showed you my card. Um, this is not good. I'm going to hold on to all my cards now because I just need to maybe open up a strategy later. 
Um, I have to do. Is it 37 come after this guy? I, I have to. I really have to. I've got to do four for cleave again, which is 12 damage to your chained again. It's up 49. So close to being dead. <laughs> it's one away. 49. Oh, we we'll use one of your other um, creatures. No, I just, yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Oh. Mm. <laughs> All right. And that's all I got. Uh, let me ask. Let's see here. You're one, two, three, four, five, six. So had you done one more damage, you would have won the game. No, this is my dead pile. I'm sorry. Uh, one, so two, I would need three, to kill him four, and five. kill somebody else. Yeah. Else. Okay. I thought I thought we were. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, no, I'm pretty no. far from killing you. You're, you're definitely swarming. you're definitely ahead at this point because you've got three creatures out and you can do three things a turn and you can afford to do three things a turn. I hate this card, so I'm going to play this card on the table. All right. Uh, even though at this point I really don't need more cards, they're not mm -hmm. going to help me. So at this point, I'm going to get these two back and let you shut them down again. But I am back going to shut those down again. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so I'm going to use Thunder, Thunder eight damage, and plus one two for Spark. So, so I'll one, just add that two, together for three. 32. I assume you're doing Spark again, so I'll just add that in right now. Yeah, I'm going to do Spark again. So it's up to a total of 32, one, two. plus two damage, plus two energy has been shut out. Uh, which, I mean, really don't need to do at this point because one card well i guess unless you were gonna upgrade some cards or something that's where these could come in handy mm. but there's nothing on here that needs like 10. No. so like me taking out two doesn't... right now it's just spiteful which is fine i mean that's, <laughs> that's my strategy if you want to ruin a friend you know if you want to ruin a budding friendship that's totally your prerogative uh <laughs> yeah uh... so you can't kill him this turn no i can't kill him i was thinking about can... doing the thing that it takes even one more of your jewels or it cost you one more jewel yeah you can use discord and to 50 -50. basically shut him down next turn why not so, so yeah i'll play him. a long game instead of trying to yeah sure uh no we don't have time for a long game i'm gonna try to rush you again okay so that's three and that six is... plus maybe another six yeah six okay. plus another six you can roll that Ooh, maybe I should prevent you from... Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> totally up to you. Okay, so that's you've, 12 damage. That's, you've been ridiculous with those. So I feel my first one. So he's at, four, so he's at 44. Okay. 44 and 50. So six more damage. So I'm almost certain there's nothing I can do at this point, but we'll play it out anyways. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to pay four to do cleave again, which will destroy the chain. So you are at eight. That's all I can do. And so we'll just go to your turn. I should have done that 50, 50. Well, I mean, I knew eight wasn't going to end the game. E either way, you, you're going to win on this turn. So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, it just, depended, just depends on what kind of flair you wanted to use. Let's do it. see here. So, um, so yeah, let's play it out properly. So you draw a card. Uh, spirit, um, no, don't like this. <laughs> Add it to the table. Uh, so I'm really thinking that you're just stuck looking for like one card. You have two upgrade cards and just I waiting for I have two high the... tier cards yeah. that I don't have the base creature for. Yes. Yeah. So would you like the, I mean, the bound can't finish him off actually. So I've just got to be the captain. It's kind of thinking about just like, like just toying with you at this point. <laughs> uh, just it's fine. You're, just, w you're welcome to do that. Uh, look at the top two cards. But there. remember, I'm only one. I'm only one away from winning. You are not going to take out. So if you 50 point, you could. No, you couldn't do this on this turn. There's if no I way. next turn, next, if you allow me to live, next turn I can do 15 damage with him, plus maybe five, if I get. If the next card is a tier one creature and I get him out and I use it. So next turn I could win if you don't kill me right now. All right, no, I'll <laughs> fine, I'll kill you. And I will look at my next card to see if that would be the case. I'm gonna rush you. Yeah. So six, he's dead, you can roll it just to see if you want to do overkill. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> so that's done, you're at nine points, I'm at eight, which is a really close game, which I'm super happy with. I'm always that was happy a fun with game. this close game. They've all been really close so far, which is nice. Let's see what this is. No, almost. Okay. Yeah, if I had had... Oh, I could have toyed with you. 
you could have you could have toyed well, for like if i had gotten actually even this guy wouldn't have worked but yeah if i'd gotten out a cheapy creature that could have done five damage to your bounds then i could have like then i could have won next turn so that was really close did you say a cheeky creature cheeky yes britishism all right well thank you for playing um, yeah, of course it's great fun. if people have questions yeah if you got any I'll, I'll leave the i'll leave the stream open for like another minute if you've got any questions or you know um nerd jokes or anything let's, you want to let's, let's talk about ask. so you have a kickstarter campaign that's live right now yeah uh, so i have a kickstarter campaign that is ending in four days time it ends on um august 10th um it's 19 dollars so the game is $19, including U.S. shipping, an extra $10 for international shipping, which is a great price. Wait, so the 19 is the shipping is included? Yes. Okay. Um, and yeah, and you've and there's lots of other great rewards you can check out on the page too. Go visit the page just for the artwork. The artwork, uh, all the illustration has been done by a gentleman named um, Matthias Grief. All of it's by Mateus. All of it's by Mateus Grief. Uh, so you should go to the Kickstarter page just to check out the gorgeous illustrations we have on these. Um, yeah, thank you for thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Doctor Popular, for playing. Doctor, these are Doctor. great. These are these are actually print tests. So the illustrations on these are a little bit darker than they will be in the final game. So they'll look even better uh, in the final print. But yeah, um, enjoy your weekend, guys, and uh, I'll be in touch soon.